In this lesson, we're going to go over enthalpy calculations using enthalpy formations. So, in the previous video, we had talked about how we calculate the enthalpy using the, the bond enthalpies. So, we said our enthalpy of a reaction is calculated as what? Was given as the summation of the enthalpy of the reactants minus the summation of the enthalpy of what? The products. So we said, if you want to understand or remember easily how you go about that, is you think of it in terms of uh, the bonds that are there. So a bond is supposed to be broken of a reactant before a reaction can go on. So that's how we start with reactants. And then in terms of um, enthalpy formations, ask yourself a question to say, what is formed? So what forms a product? So we'll start with products and then we'll subtract our reactants. So therefore, in this case, our enthalpy is going to be given, since we're using enthalpy formations, it's going to be what are formed products, right? So say, summation of enthalpy or formation of products minus the summation of enthalpy of what? Our reactants. Now, in this case, what we need to understand is whenever we're dealing with enthalpy formations, elements, whether existing atomically or monatomically, basically we we'll just consider them to have a zero enthalpy of formation so in this case where we have oxygen it's not going to be part of our calculations right okay yeah so let's get to the calculations now so for our products what we have we have that which has been given there so that is the enthalpy of formation it's negative now it's given in terms of per mole so now look at the equation to see the equation tells us so that we have got two moles of it Okay, so two moles of the iron oxide there. So what do we do? So we we'll get our two and multiply against the given enthalpy of formation. So under the bond enthalpies, we are calculating the number of uh, bonds. Okay, now here we are calculating the what? The number of moles. So we have two moles of the iron oxide. Okay, of course, um, iron three oxide there. So from there now. We don't have any other product. So if we had another product, would have added, okay, before subtracting. Now in this case, we don't have any other. So we just end it there. And then what do we do? We we'll now subtract for our reactants. So for our reactants, we only have a single reactant that has the enthalpy formation. So how many moles? Four moles. So say four. Multiply again is what? The enthalpy formation, which is 269. Of course, all these are in kilojoules per mole. And then we need to perform our calculation. So equally, if we add another reactant that had an enthalpy formation, would have added it to the reactants before subtracting from the summation of the enthalpy formations of our products. So in this case, um, two multiplied by negative one thousand one hundred and seventeen minus four multiplied by two six nine. What do we have as our solution? So what I'm getting is negative 3.31 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, that is kilojoules per mole. So we're getting our units from the enthalpy formations here. This, this is the answer that we have as our enthalpy of the reaction. So it's very, very easy. What is important is just you understanding what you're supposed to subtract from where and i've given you a tip or a hint on how you can remember that so just one more question to help us understand more now in this question we've been given the reaction of of course acetylene is burning in air according to the given equation so the negative enthalpy tells us to say that it was what it was uh, an exothermic reaction and then what have we been given we've been given the enthalpy formation of carbon dioxide the enthalpy formation of water, and then they are just to find the enthalpy formation of what? Of a C2H2 acetrine. So now the good part is we've given us the enthalpy of the reaction. So we're just going to apply what we know. We said the enthalpy of the reaction, when they've given you the enthalpy formations, ask yourself what is formed. What are formed our products? So say summation of enthalpy formations of our products minus the summation of enthalpy of what? of our reactants so the opposite is true for the bond enthalpy i'm mentioning it because i want you to be used to it 
when they've given you the bond enthalpies, ask yourself what breaks before the reaction. So bonds break bonds of reactants. So it's reactants minus products. Under this part, it is the opposite because what forms are products? So products minus reactants because we're using the enthalpy of formation. So whenever you see this symbol, just know that it's referring to what? To the enthalpy of formation. Okay, so now that we are there, let's try to, to get down there with what we're going to have. So now, the, in, the enthalpy of the reaction has already been given, so I'll just indicate it. Negative 1,255.8 equal to, for our products, what do we have in terms of our products? So we have carbon dioxide and water. So carbon dioxide, we have two moles of carbon dioxide. So I multiply the given enthalpy of formation times two. And then we need to add water as well because it's also one of the products. So water is just a single more. So just get as it is given. Of course, negative 241.8. So this, these are our products. We need to subtract what? Our reactants. So now for our reactants, what did we have? We will not consider oxygen because it's an element. So just consider the acetrine itself. So C2. H2. We only have a single more of it. If we add two more there, for example, if I had the two there, I would have put the two there. But we just have one of it. So we just put that. Any other reactant? None. So that's where we end. And then you can go back to the top part there to see what we're going to, to have. So I'll maintain what is on the left. Negative 1,255.8 is equal to. Grab your calculator and calculate the info performations for the products so two times negative 393 that is for our carbon dioxide 0.5 minus 241.8 of our water molecule that we we had in this case so have negative 1028.8 minus c2h2 at this point, it becomes very easy for us to, to just go on and simplify this. So I would love to take this other side so that it becomes a positive part, okay? Which now is equivalent to negative 1,028.8. And then the watches there can also go the other side so that we had it, okay? So what do we expect to have? So perform the addition there and see what you're going to get. So what I'm getting as my info formation of my acetrine is 227 kilojoules per mole. So th that's it. That's how you go about the info calculation. So it's very, very important that when you're given a reaction, understand what to put where. Understand what they want you to calculate. Is it the info formation of the reactant, a product? Or am I calculating the enthalpy of the reaction? Or oh, above all, what is important again is understanding the equation to use. Okay, so just one more time to make sure you've gotten this. So when they give you the bond, the enthalpy of formations of uh, the reactants and the products, what you get to do is your enthalpy of your reaction is basically going to be dependent on what? So enthalpy of formations, what are formed are products. So it's products minus what? Reactants. On the other hand, if they give you the bond enthalpies, things like that, where they've given you the bond enthalpies, the bonds of the reactants break. So that can help you to remember to so say you start with what? Your reactants before your products. So this, these are the two ways in which you get to get the enthalpy of the reaction. Okay. Of course, in the next video, we are going to focus now on S's law. So S's law is going to be a case where they've given you um, equations part of the reaction mechanism and then ask you to find the enthalpy of uh, the overall reaction. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.